hello guys and welcome back so I've been getting a lot of messages on my page and also in comments asking me Tiffany what do you have on the back of your wall what is that is that wallpaper I really like it how did you get that so I want to do a video to show you exactly what I did and give you guys all the steps that you can use to obtain the same look that I have in the back of my wall first thing I had some additional wall tiles and I've been telling everybody if they asked I've been um, replying telling them exactly what it is so I wanted to show you guys Ugh. and these are extras this is the box and they're wall flats and they're from a company called inhabit it's www.inhabitliving.com and I'll put all the information down in the detail box and what it is it's a renewable product so it's green and they come like this 18 by 18 tiles and it's like paper it, it really is you can break it if you want and what I got was the seesaw pattern they have so many different patterns so this is it and this is the back so it's like a 3d effect and it actually comes out and you see the back and like I said these are 18 by 18 so I purchased 10 boxes of these so basically you have to measure the back wall to determine how many flats you will need because they only come in 10 in a box and I believe they're $90 a box 87 and 90 don't quote me on that so I ordered 10 boxes to achieve the look that I currently have and one thing I want to tell you it is labor intensive but once you complete it it will look absolutely phenomenal okay you have to be very um, precise very patient if you want a professional looking um, feature wall so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, focus on this wall and tell you exactly how I achieved this look Oh, but before I do that, let me tell you what you'll need. What other things you'll need besides the flats. Okay, you'll need one of these. Okay, you'll need what's called um, Mastic. I believe that's the name of it. If I'm wrong, I do apologize. But basically what it is, it's what um, you use to lay tile on the floor. So it is permanent. That wall is not coming down. So if you want to do this, make sure that you want to do it because it is definitely permanent is not going to come down so i i purchased mastic and i got that from home depot maybe for like 10 15 dollars i'm not sure also you're going to need um drywall spackling because as you can see it is a tile so when you put them together you're going to have to spackle it so it'll be very smooth and you really can't see the lines unless you're right up on it so you'll need that you'll also need um paint of your choice because you will have to paint it you'll have to sand it first then prime it and then paint it two coats of paint so it'll look really good okay so I'm gonna move the camera to the wall so you guys can see the wall so let okay so let, let me okay so as you guys can see let me get kind of close so you can see okay so this is the wall it goes oh sorry it goes all the way up like that ah okay this is not too great okay so you see I have crown molding up there so you have to really measure measure everything out so it'll look seamless and let me just zoom in so you guys can see and let me focus it okay so you guys can see here here for example where where you see the seams so you have to take your time and put in the the spackling but once you do that it'll look gorgeous and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring you to the other ooh, sorry guys I'm gonna bring you to the other side because it's gonna it's gonna entail you to cut I'm just moving the camera okay for example this side you see how the top I had to cut that and it's not a big deal so what you'll do is you'll start from one side and what I recommend you want to cut where it's not as noticeable so I decided to cut on this side because really no one comes on this side but my husband he sleeps on this side of the bed let me zoom out so you'll get okay so I just cut the sides of 
the tiles and you just you can use a um what do you call that an exacto knife because it's really easy to cut you just measure it out I would recommend measuring twice so it'll be a perfect fit and let me go down oh excuse the water <laughs> and that's how it looks this project took us 48 hours to complete and that is no exaggeration seriously it really took 48 hours to complete and this has been on my wall for three and a half years now Here's the door now as you can see it's from ceiling to floor even behind our bed is complete so you will need patience to do this project but like I said once the project is completed you'll be very happy with the outcome and I wouldn't recommend doing the whole room because it'll be a little overkill. So just do a feature wall, whether it's in your bedroom, wherever you choose to do it. Okay. Just take your time and, and let me show you how it looks. But that's the box that it comes in. And let me show you guys, get my phone out of here. That's, so that's the box that it comes in, it's wall flats. And I'll leave all of the information. And I've purchased so many products from this company. It is a modern company. They, they um, all their products are very contemporary modern. So, this is what I would recommend. If you guys, uh, when you get the Mastic, don't put it in the, the space that is hollow because it's not going to stick. So put a lot on the, the parts that is not um, hollow, basically. And make sure, for example, the, the edges. Ooh, that's not going to work. Let me do it like this. Make sure the edges, you put a lot on the edges so they can stick. And one of the things that I would recommend when you do the edges, I have some really tiny, tiny little um, tacks. So just use the tacks to tack down the edges and then once you do that leave it there for a good um, five to six hours so it can actually set before you move the tacks away. Okay guys I'm so sorry my camera completely died on me. So what I was saying to make it really short is when you get the tiles make sure you put enough adhesive around the edges and once you do that take a thin little tack or a thin little pin nail and pin the edges so they'll lay flat so when you put um when you spackle it it'll be seamless so that is it so i hope you guys enjoyed that everybody that was inquiring about the wall go get it it is a fun project your home will look marvelous i love it i absolutely love it it was well worth the money and the time that we spent putting it up every time um someone sees it they're like wow did you do that what is it so um go to their website check them out and if you have any additional questions definitely um you can send me a private message you can leave messages below and i'll be happy to get back with you guys so until next time have a great night